Hey guys and welcome to another video. My name is Annabelle and today I wanted to talk about astrology and what is this soul level astrology that I've been studying. I'm now offering soul level astrology readings on my website. So what exactly is it and possibly how you could benefit from getting a a reading or just even researching yourself about astrology in general. Astrology is really nothing more than a tool that can be utilized to strip away the barriers, the conditioned state that sometimes we get into. So viewing it more as a tool and an instrument to discover various parts of yourself that may be stuck, maybe parts of yourself you don't even really acknowledge or know. So just being able to look at it much more openly as more of a, a form of exploring yourself rather than this you know, spiritual something that um, d doesn't exist and doesn't really affect me and how could the stars have aligned in a certain way that would have affected me when I was born you don't have to believe in that at all. And before I get too much further, your chart is nothing less than your potential. It is not who you are. And I think a lot of astrologers say that wrong. They, they say, you know, okay, we're gonna look at who exactly you are. And I think it's really important for those of you who are on the fence or who don't really know if they identify very much with astrology, its principles, or um, that they even really want to invest any time in exploring that further. That it's, it's your potential, it's what you, what you could be, what you could do, what you could explore with your life rather than things you need to do, things that you should be working on. Astrology is just a form of looking at who someone is and why they're here. There are other tools you can use, other self-reflective tools that I certainly have used and continue to use. And there's other tools that maybe are very different from astrology but give you a similar, um, similar outcome that you're looking for. Really honing in on who, who exactly it is that, that you are, what gifts you came here to give, um, how you can be of service to the world. There are many ways to go about that and I'm not about to say that astrology is the end-all be-all and the best thing out there for you. It's a tool you can use if you want to and find this interesting and potentially helpful. One way that astrology is really helpful is when we get into those ruts, when we're stuck, when we feel challenge when we're having repeated events happen in our life that isn't necessarily super positive but it just keeps happening and we don't understand why. Some people call this karma, others call it other things, but for the sake of this video and what I'm trying to point out, I'm just going to call it karma. And a lot of times karma is viewed as um, this very negative thing. It's like someone is wrong to you and then they get wrong by someone else and you're like, oh, that's their karma because um, something was out there to get them because they had done something bad to someone else. So what karma really is, is an invitation to show up in the places that we've shown up the least, in the places where we actually are wanting to show up. Our soul wants to um, transform, wants to overcome a certain area of your life. And until you reach that point of, of attainment, of overcoming whatever it was that was blocking you from achieving it, it'll keep happening until you, get, you work through it. So it's important to you know, ask yourself in each situation, what is being asked of me? What is it that I need to be doing in this moment to further myself? I really feel that right now within our society we're going through this, this big reclaiming of our individual lives. There's something so right about 
living your truth, about knowing who you are and going with that without being influenced by what society may expect of you, what your family may, may want you to do or to be. Our greatest task, our greatest blessing in this life is that when we change ourselves, when we do the work, when we reflect on our own lives and make sense of who we are and why we're here, we are in turn changing the world and helping other people do that by being a living example of someone who's really embodying their truest nature. All we really want to do as human beings is be ourselves, to be seen as who we are, to be acknowledged for our gifts and what we offer and bring and how we serve the world. This form of astrology, soul level astrology, really focuses on this idea that what you came here to give is who you are. I think that's a really powerful statement and when we are encouraged by other people, not just in our lives, but when we can find tools and aids to really push us in that direction and help us see more clearly our, our potential and maybe what the next steps might be, it can be really transformative. And so what I work with with Soul Level Astrology is obviously your past, the present, and your future, as well as looking at timing cycles and what might be flowing into your life right now and what you can be expecting to um, prepare for in the future. Just to name a couple other things which I don't necessarily expect you to know about or understand necessarily, but we also work with something called Dharmic Currents, which is um, a fusion of Rudolf Steiner's philosophy as well as Elias Lonsdale, who is the foundational astrologer that this form of astrology is based on. So it's a fusion of these two people's insight to create something called dharmic currents, which are cycles within our lives. They are four-year periods, and there's three within one cycle, and it goes up to 48 years old. And that's something that I utilize within readings. I also work with something called Star of Destiny, also known as the moon phase. And so when you were born, the, the moon was in a certain phase and the phase that it was in has an effect on who you are as well as the ways in which you traditionally get stuck in the world. And so I'll look at that as well as obviously the normal things such as your your sun and moon and all the planets orientation, what signs they're in, what houses they're in. I'll also look at something called your birth card as well as your cosmic number. I want to make it very clear though, now that I've thrown out all these terms, that this astrology puts the soul part of it before the astrology. And so while I just mentioned all that, it may happen that within a reading I may never mention a planet or a sign or anything related to astrology at all. Part of an astrologer's job is to convert what they see in someone's chart into useful information that they can then implement into their lives and help better their understanding of themselves and what their soul is after. I will throw up the color wheel that we use, which is different from traditional astrology, just so you guys have a little glimpse into it if you're interested. How did this astrology come to be? So my teacher, Mark Borax, who I've been studying with for almost two years now and have, will be studying for another year until I'm officially certified, but he studied under Elias Lonsdale. Elias founded this whole new way of viewing astrology and it was through his studying of Rudolf Steiner and these dreams and channelings that he had that he was able to create these uh, 12 life streams as he calls it. I just want to thank the teachers that have taught me this astrology, first of all, the person who, who most of this is based on, Elias Lonsdale, and his 
the work that he's done to further this, this form of astrology that is, that's looking instead of at like the surface level of um, your chart, it's really getting into what your soul's after, why is it here, why did you come back? So it's a much deeper form of, of astrology. And then I also want to thank obviously my teacher Mark Borax who I've been studying with for two years now and have one more until I'm officially certified but it's been quite a wild ride and I've enjoyed it so much. It's been incredible to discover all these new things about me, to validate the way I feel about certain things, validate um, experiences and why I chose to put myself in them. There's really nothing like getting validation in that way that it's just who you are and this is how you're coming forth. Maybe there's a more positive or, or negative way in which you can show up in this specific situation but just really honoring that this is this is a part of who you are and it doesn't need to be better or worse, but just acknowledging it can help you create a better understanding as to why you may have chose certain things in your life. This form of astrology is a living astrology. When I'm given a birth chart every single time, it's an opportunity to rediscover what a person with a sun sign in Libra is, what someone with a moon in Taurus is. It's an opportunity to view each sign through this new person. And so there is no you know, set in stone answer as to what a, per a person with Mars and Scorpio is. There is no definite answer because it's all in this whole chart where there's influences of everything. And so I can't just look at it and be like, A, that's, that's what that means. It's not as straightforward as that because when we isolate anything in life, we end up with less than whole answers. We, we are left with um, a lot of questions because we just dissected it. And so when, what we're trying to do is we're trying to put it together and view each planet as part of the whole. And so it's an aim to really bring a, a wholeness, of course, to, to what we're going to be bringing up within the, the astrology reading. It's much more about the coming together of it all and how it all fits within who you are. And so there's an excitement, there's a curiosity, there's a uh, always a newfound interest to look at, hey, you know, how are all these planets going to show up and bring this potential of someone all together. And so it's been incredible. And being able to provide a service like this to other people feels like the right thing to do because my life has completely changed since I started studying astrology and now that I've been gifted with this gift I feel that I have almost an obligation to offer it to other people who might really be needing exactly what it is that I can offer. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Um, if you have any questions please leave them below. I will answer them swiftly and if you're interested in learning more about this I will leave all the links below as well as one where you can book a 30 minute or hour long astrology reading with me. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will talk to you very soon. Adios.